Okay, so today I will talk about a small town versus a big town and everything in the middle. Um, common thing I get is that people who aren't in the business don't take me serious about being in to videography because I don't show a automatic obsession with moving to a bigger city. Um, I'm not saying I'm against that. I actually would love to live in Europe. Um, with whatever happens is a whole other situation. Um, but why am I looking at Nevzilla and not somewhere bigger? Well, plan was never to stay here. But I did get sidetracked with a previous job with Family and Fit. I was uh, trying to save money to further my education in uh, videography at Full Sail, but it seemed like I finally found an independent filmmaking job that I could call my own and make a living off of. So I hunkered down on this house, not only because of that, but there's a second house connected that uh, I thought would be really cool to turn into a studio. I actually know several productions in this town that are doing really well for themselves. Independent and um, with multiple people. JLC. Uh, and they typically focus on local businesses. I don't think I've ever seen them to do any music artists. And I think I've only seen them to do one wedding. But my friend that you guys have met. Jacob, um, he's part of that production. Then we got Brandon Gabriel. Um, he does basically all the music artists in this area. And then you have Blackstrap Media, which is the big shots in this this area. Anytime you go to the theaters, you'll see their logo with a infomercial about turning off your phones in the middle of the theater. Um, so there's definitely competition here just like there would be in a bigger place. Of course a bigger place would have a whole lot more, but um, if they're do they can do well then there's, there's at least got to be some chance that I can do well in this area. Um, I do have good relationships uh, with some local artists. Um, there's Jane Smith, he literally just texted me. Um, his music artist name is Smith FX, and the I is turned to excitement mark. He is an electronic music artist. Then I got Enrique. Can't remember his band, but he's a heavy metal artist. And um, I haven't talked to him in a while, but we were also talking about doing a heavy metal opera. So, there's that. I do have Trent Shell. Um, it's kind of hit and miss with him, but he um, he is a really good rapper. I uh, got QP again, so it kind of a hit and miss. I think he jumped out of the game. I don't know. Uh, we got some local businesses. Um, they're not really well. Most of them aren't local. They're close by uh, New Harmony. That's only like a uh, 20 or 30 minute drive. But I got the Capers, the Black Lodge Coffee Roasters, and then the Style Photography. Style Photography, I'm supposed to do uh, like a weight loss journey. I'm supposed to start next month. And then I do have. Well, you know how I told you about Family Fit and how that's the reason I got the house. Well, they started their own business as Elite Automation, so presumably if they ever needed to get a videographer, I would hope that I'd be the first on the list. So there's Elite Automation. Um, me versus other productions around town? What can I supply that others can't supply? What makes me different than others? First and most importantly, I mostly want to do short films. Um, not saying that there's not other productions that I haven't named that uh, focus on short films. 
but most of those are they have a very specific audience and are kind of disorganized. I'm building out a three tier house to fit every job under the table and I plan to strategically place hard-headed like-minded individuals for each special case. Uh, for example, audio mixer, that was going to be the top floor. Apparently my next door neighbor, um, he used to be a DJ and he would be game to, um, to help out in that area. So that's interesting. Then we got the videographer. Um, I'd love to, for Jake to be the, the, the main videographer, the lead videographer. And then the, um, the editor slash co-editor and the writer and slash co-writer. Um, like I told you in a couple previous videos, um, pre-production and the in-production, the post-production, I think are like the most important to me. Weaknesses I end up noticing in most other mentioned productions um, the ones that I mentioned are actually very organized, but where they lack is the creative endeavors. I see the focus pushing jobs out, and that's great, um, but there needs to be a balance between art and business. Um, for example, I've heard such stories like the videographer will go to the client, discuss their goals and uh, what they want done. And on the same day, or maybe in the next day, they, uh, they come with their equipment, unpack, shoot, pack back up, leave, um, throw it on the computer, maybe do a little bit of editing, sleep, wake up, do it all over again without finishing the edit, and then maybe finish that previous edit on the same day that they just shot another video. Um, that's great, you know, more money for less people, but that's going to create burnout. There's, there's a reason why there's a production team. Um, your artist is going to continue to get more exhausted for little reward. Yeah, you, they're going to get lots of money, which that is great, but the, the main reason why we want money as artists is just so we can live off our passion and do our passion. Um, if, you're, if you're just constantly putting out material without actually putting your creative twist on it, um, it doesn't really reward your, your mind. Um, end up getting burnt out. You forgot why you even loved uh, doing videos. If it was bare minimum, I would say two is the magic number. And more specifically, one who does all the shooting and one that does all the editing. I mean, in that scenario I was just talking about, if he got done shooting and sent all the videos like to me and I edited them, the video would be done. He wouldn't have to worry about it, and he could he could continue shooting. And it would right there. That's just a lot quicker instead of like projects leaping on top of projects and trying to keep track of which one was due when and, and, and where the files located. And you know, um, it's very easy to to mess something up because you're so exhausted or. Um, be disorganized because you're just trying to hurry up and get on your computer and hurry up and edit just to do the next job. Um, that's where mistakes are made, not only is the, cre the creative burnout. Kind of got off topic, sorry. But a big town usually kind of sucks because there's this huge skill gap um, in between the person kind of starting out and um, the Hollywood people. And a lot of the uh, good artists are already attached to some productions, lots of competition, you know. Thank you for watching. Till next time. See you on the flip side.